vomiting and the difference between general baby spit up and having reflux and GERD and needing to see a doctor and get help. So um, many, many mothers uh, comment, my baby's spitting up a lot, that is a lot, I don't think they're taking any milk in, there's no nutrients going into them. And uh, the first thing everybody will say is, oh, they've probably got reflux or, um, and definitely got reflux, go and get medication or lactose intolerant, uh, cut dairy out of your diet immediately. Um, and you can't ever, ever, ever give that kind of advice because you know, one little post like that doesn't tell us anything about the mother's medical history, the baby's medical history, or anything else that's going on. So please don't take advice to cut dairy out of your diet or to immediately put some drugs down your baby's throat um, without talking to your paediatrician. Um, but uh, some key things to just note about reflux and spit up. All babies spit up. And this goes on for quite a few months um, because of a immature um, digestive system, okay? Um, and eventually it goes away, eventually it gets better and they stop spitting up as much. Um, some babies spit up and projectile vomit and they still don't have reflux. Um, something important to note and how to tell that you're probably just got a laundry problem and not a medical problem, as we would say. Uh, and the, the way to tell that is if your baby's projectile vomiting up, um, but kind of does it and then is okay and happy, then they're, they're probably just a really good spitter. Um, and, um, <laughs> and yeah, it's your problem, not theirs. Uh, you've got to do the washing. Um, but if they're spitting up a lot and, and clearly in a lot of discomfort and crying a lot, then, then that's something you probably do want to broach with your paediatrician and, and talk to them about. Um, if they are spitting up projectile vomiting a lot, but we don't think they've got reflux, there can be several things that are causing that before we look at reflux. The first one, it's a bad latch. Uh, and it, that is probably always one of the first sus suspect things with whatever the problem is. Um, so a bad latch. And that, why does that happen? And that happens because with a bad latch, they're gonna let a lot of air in. And so they're gonna get a lot of air and blop, puke that straight back up like a big burp. Um, the other thing that can cause that is a really heavy letdown, a fast letdown, a forceful letdown. Um, because if you're feeding and baby's particularly laying down in a cradle hold or something, um, then they're gonna be gulping because if you suddenly squirted a load of water from a bottle down your throat, you'd gulp, gulp, gulp. And if you hear your baby gulping or spluttering, uh, again, gonna be a load of air in there, they're gonna be too much and, whoop, and they're gonna puke it up, just like you would if you guzzled down a big milkshake. Um, and so positions that can help, so things that can help with a forceful letdown is to um, pump first a little bit, just to try and take the pressure out of that gush uh, when you first start feeding. Um, and the laid back nursing, any position that goes against gravity is gonna help here. So put baby on top in the laid back position and then it won't be so forceful down the back of their throat. And those are a couple of things you can do straight away that may help baby uh, to cope with a forceful letdown. And if you do have one of those, normally by about six weeks, things regulate, start to slow down and you should notice a difference. Um, another problem that can cause that is tongue tie. Um, and again, same with a bad latch. If you've got tongue tie, you're gonna have a bad latch, gonna let a load of air in, and that's gonna cause a load of puking. The other thing just to know is if you are concerned about the amount, is to really realize how actually, um, when you see spit up, it can look like a lot, uh, and actually it isn't. So a, a way of sort of learning that is to get a, a tea towel or something and put it over your chest, and then get a tablespoon of milk uh, or water, and throw it on yourself and you're or on the floor just put it on the floor you will be amazed at how much that looks when you throw it out on the table on the floor on your top you'll think god that's a lot but actually it's only a tablespoon and so that should hopefully help you get in perspective that sometimes your your baby hasn't puked up 60 mils of milk i mean you know if you want to know what that looks like go pour 60 mils of milk on your floor and i think you'll realize your baby isn't puking up their entire feed and that they're probably okay. Um, like I said though, if your baby is vomiting, projectile vomiting, clearly in distress, crying a lot, then that's different. 
go and see your doctor, go and get a proper diagnosis. Um, but otherwise, I'm afraid it's a hold on tight, deep breath, this too shall pass. They will stop vomiting.